Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for watching this lecture. It's all about having great merchandise. After over a thousand shows played in 22 different countries, merchandise is what's kept me alive, kept my brand alive. I've performed for free sometimes as long as I could sell merchandise at shows. So that means I had to have good t-shirts. I had to have CDs stocked. I had to have USB keys, which I'll show you right here. This is a skateboard one we did. I had hoodies. We've had posters, stickers, wristbands. And you know, I don't want to overwhelm you, but this this is what we eventually build upon. I didn't start with all that stuff, okay? I started with maybe a CD and a poster and a shirt, okay? But it's so important that your merchandise looks good. The quality is so important. And that starts with your photo shoot, with your logo, with your album cover design here, okay? I always not only invest in just the music, but in the design, because people will separate you, it'll separate you from the rest of the pack and the bands that don't, that have just like a, a, a burnt CD with black marker written on it, or you can just tell that they just didn't put or invest any time in it. And people are like, oh, okay, if they didn't invest time into the, the, the design and the album cover and all that stuff, then they probably didn't invest in the music, you know? And some people just don't wanna buy the music. Some people just wanna buy shirts and listen to your music on YouTube or on Spotify or Apple Music. So that's why it's important to have options because you will make way more money the more options you have. And I just want to say this as well too. You want to, when it comes to sizes, because we're talking about options here, you want to have small, medium, large, XL, and then at least a few double X. You know, I always find that mediums go the fastest, but it's really important to have all options when it comes to shirts and when it comes to hoodies. I'll talk about quantities and all that stuff and selling out and whatnot and make sure that you don't press too many, but you at least want to have options. And I just want to say this again, invest in a good designer. Take the time, hire someone, not just on Fiverr, find a really good designer, whether it's a friend in college or just ask other bands, look and see if they've mentioned their designer. Sometimes in the CD artwork, you'll be able to see they thank their designer or who did the illustration and hire someone. You know what, it'll pay back tenfold. I've paid $150 for a design, 200, 400, and every time I invested in great design and great looking merchandise, it paid back tenfold. So I really want to encourage you before your next show, or maybe you haven't even performed at all, think about the designs and what you want to have because it's not just music. It's a movement that you're trying to create. You want to get people coming back in droves and you do that by connecting your music with your art, with your merchandise. Think about right now, go write down some designs, maybe take a, a song or maybe a lyric or something and that, that you want to use and incorporate that into your design. One of the things we recently did for a song called Fearless is we had this skull with this blindfold and these wings for the idea of someone being fearless and stepping out in blind faith. What's one of your songs that you can incorporate an illustration or a design or a shirt idea that's maybe one of your best selling songs that people really connect to? Make a shirt out of that. Make a sticker out of that. Make a poster out of that or something like that. You can get as creative as you want, but again, make it look good, make it look great, because you know what? It'll pay back tenfold, I promise.